Hey there, I'm Dave Perry, and I'm here watching the sudden death finals of the recent Oak Cliff quarantine Klinergata. We've got Andres Guerra coming in on the blue team, and Bryce Kopp coming in yellow. And then they come into the box. It's going to be a classic dial-up. And here's where Bryce on the right wants to slow down. He should be luffing his jib here, maybe turning the boat a little more abruptly to the right. You never want your bow to go past the mass of the blue boat. And you can see right in here, uh, Bryce is going too quickly and he's overrunning. And what I like to do here, as soon as the helmsman of the windward boat on the right gets to the mast of the lure boat, he should turn left. So Bryce should be turning left right now, bearing off, and going across the top of Andres. Andres here is going to steal balls, he's tacking, and then Bryce is reacting. So that's incorrect. You want to have the yellow boat initiate that. And what will happen is then the yellow boat will come around much closer to the blue boat, almost in a point where you can keep them from jiving when they get to the playground, or even better yet, you can uh, come underneath them and luff them again. But at any rate, because Bryce waited a little bit to react, he's about a bowling and a half behind, so now the boats are neutral. They're on poor tack. They're headed for the playground. The playground is what I call the area to the right of the committee boat as you're looking upwind. You can see them going over the top of the committee boat right now. About two and a half minutes to go to start, so this is pretty classic. And I think you can have circling up to about two minutes or so. So Andres can certainly make a circle here, and you'll see him do that in a moment here. He's bearing away. Bryce wants to go straight, keep going fast. Andres' main trimmer has the main end pretty tight. Make sure the jib doesn't luff coming up here. Bryce wants to let Andres land, and now there's about two minutes and ten seconds. So Bryce could do one more circle if he wanted. I, don't, I try to circle after two minutes. So here goes three, two. So Bryce is circling right at two minutes. So this will give Anders a chance to watch him. If Bryce ever stops turning here and goes straight, then Anders should tack and become the pusher. The moment Bryce tacks, Anders can jibe and become the leader. You get about five seconds after the tack where you can jibe and the other boat doesn't have enough speed to jibe inside of you. But Andres has waited about 10 seconds to throw his jibe in. That gives Bryce a chance to get some flow and now can jibe inside and take the lead. Generally, the leader is stronger, particularly if you want to start to the left of, the, uh, of your opponent. So now Bryce is going down and, and Andres should put his bow up and aim at the committee boat. You should never follow the leader down like that. His bow should be up aiming at the committee boat, bringing the leader up. Then when the leader goes up, the pusher can go down. Now here, Bryce has made an interesting move. He's gone from a strong position down to lured up to a weaker position to windward. So I think he realizes this and, and, and goes back down. So the leader should always stay down to lure to the pusher in a much stronger position. Now when Andres goes up here, as soon as Bryce goes up, Andres should come down. If you wait more than a second or two, you get locked in. And that's what happens. So now Andres is locked in. That's okay. He can't start on port tack. He's too close to the committee boat. So his move here is called tack and look. He should tack right there and look. If Bryce doesn't come with him, Andres should straighten the wheel, sail for one or two boat lengths, and tack back. What Andres has done here is incorrect. He's thrown into a hard jibe. You can see how the boat is completely stopped. He has no flow. And now uh, he's aiming at the pin right now. They only have about 25 seconds to start. And Andres is extremely slow. Had he stayed on port, built speed, and tacked back, he could have taken taken the best start possible, which is windward with a gap. That's the strongest start you can get in match racing, uh, other than a crush. But now Anders has got to, he's going to, he can't be able to start there. He's going to be too close uh, to windward. But there's only five seconds to go. And he's tacking, um, and there's actually the start has gone there. So he's tacked after the, there's the start. So he's tacked uh, with about five seconds to go to the start. And so he's now up to speed. He's still building speed. And that's a loss. What you want to do is you want to tack with about 12 seconds to go so you can be at speed at the gun and then you're at speed equal to the other boat. Otherwise, let's start and off they go to the races.